Uh, I'm Joey from Survival Live. Thank you for joining me, and I want to teach you something that you're probably going to need. Now, you can find the stuff that I'm going to show you pretty much in every yard, every park, every place that you go in the woods. Now, I just got stung, and it hurts pretty bad. I just got stung by a wasp, and I'm not going to show you how to get stung by a wasp, but I did catch a wasp, and I let him sting me. And if you can see, I've got, I just got stung by a wasp, and I let that wasp sting me, just so I can show you guys exactly how to deal with getting stung by a wasp. Now, we're going to go find the thing that we need. Now, again, you can find this in just about every backyard and every park or every bit of woods that you have. So you might have it growing in your yard. Now, remember, make sure that you get your parents to help you in identifying this plant. And uh, it's a plant that grows pretty much all throughout the United States, and it's gonna be super important to you, especially when it comes to bee stings, when it comes to wasp bites, mosquito bites, pretty much every insect bite that's out there. So come along, let's go get it. Now what we're looking for has a couple of key indicators. It has these, these little sticks that stick up. See these little sticks? They're kind of like, they look kind of like asparagus, but they're not asparagus. But guess what? We can also eat them. So these are also edible. Now, it'll have a leaf that's similar to like a spe uh, spinach. It's kind of broad. This one's been eaten up by bugs, but that's okay. It's going to be fine. Um, and it's kind of woody. And when I say woody, it has very strong, strong meaty texture to it. So in order to take care of our bite, we're going to do this. We're going to grab a hold of a leaf and we're going to chew it up. Now, once we got our leaf all nice and chewed up, we're going to take out the chewed up part of our leaf and we're going to stick it right on our bite. And that feels so much better. That feels so much better. Now, the crazy thing about insect bites is they have some stages. So if you see, like, I've got a lot of green stuff coming off on my fingers there. Can you see the green stuff coming off on my fingers? There's some green stuff coming off of my fingers. I'm going to keep that on there. And if you can wrap this up with a poultice, it'll help out a little bit. Uh, not a poultice, but a bandage. It'll help out a little bit better. But um, this is called plantain. Broadleaf plantain, to be exact, or American plantain. Now, it's 100% edible. You can eat the leaves. You can eat the stalks. You can eat the roots. It's super It's uh, super healthy for you. It has a lot of vitamins and minerals. And I know you don't like eating your vegetables, but this is one of the vegetables that you will love. Uh, because it just tastes good and it helps you in so many ways now the pain and the sting is going away so now an insect bite especially a wasp sting has a couple of stages one it's gonna hurt stage one it's gonna hurt it'll burn or ache or it'll just hurt in general because a lot of times we can't we can't describe how hurt hurts and uh, it just hurts well right now it doesn't hurt is there a throb? There's, it's still throbbing. It's still throbbing a little bit, but it doesn't hurt. Now, after that, it's going to itch. And it's going to itch for a while. So three days afterwards, your insect bite or sting will probably itch. You have to try and do as much as possible to not scratch at it. So do what you can to not scratch at it. And there you go. You have a backyard remedy. For your insect bites. Stay safe, don't die. Hey, don't forget to tune in next week and we're gonna learn how to turn these into arrows.